So we're gonna wanna create a few components. So inside of your source folder, I want you to right click on source and click new folder. We'll go ahead and create the login component. So just type in login and click enter. And inside of here, we're gonna wanna create two files, login.js and then click on it again, new file. And we're gonna say styles.js. So we're gonna wanna do this again for the sign up component. So create a new folder called sign up inside of source. And then inside of sign up, create a signup.js file and a styles.js file. And again for dashboard. So we're gonna create a dashboard folder. And inside of here, we'll create a dashboard.js file and a styles.js file. So the first one we'll go ahead and work on is the login. So open up your login.js file, and I want you to type in import react from, and then inside of quotes, react. Okay, and we're gonna create a class, class, and we're gonna call this class login component. Let me type this correctly, component. And it's going to extend, so put extends, react.component. And then below this, we're gonna to wanna to export this class. So export default login component. Now we have this, and every single React component is going to need to have a specific method called render. So go ahead and implement this method. And inside of the render, we're just simply going to put a return statement. And then in here, we can actually put some HTML. So in here, I'll say, hello world from login and I'll save that. So let's go ahead and knock out some of this boilerplate. Copy this, go into signup.js, and I want you to paste this in, and let's just change a few things. Instead of login component, this will be called signup component, and then we're gonna wanna change this here. And then instead of hello world from login, we're gonna say hello world from signup. Save that. And go ahead and open up the dashboard.js file. We're going to do the exact same thing. So instead of dash, instead of login component, it's going to be dashboard. And then go ahead and I'm just going to copy the word dashboard and replace login in all of these instances with the word dashboard and then save this. We're going to want to be able to navigate between each of these three components through the URL. For instance, if it's that slash login and I press enter, we're gonna to wanna to go to the login page. But as you can see here, it only still says hello world. That's because inside of our index.js file, we're only rendering this div here. So inside of the index.js file, up here in the import section, underneath the import for the service worker, we're gonna go ahead and import this stuff. So import route, browser router, as router from React Router DOM. So now that we have this, we're gonna create a routing object that we're gonna end up passing into this react.render here. So let's go ahead and create this const variable called routing and set it equal and then put in a close, open and close parenthesis. And we're going to put in a router tag, just like this, just like you would write HTML. And then in between that, we're gonna put a div container and I'm gonna give this an ID and the ID is going to be routing container and inside of this div, we're gonna put the paths, the routes to each individual component that we're gonna route in between. So the first one, we'll go ahead and create this route tag, just route. And inside of the beginning tag, inside of the opening tag, we're gonna to wanna to put a path. And the path is going to be forward slash login. And if we're at this forward slash login, we'll create another part called component and set that equal to now, when we put the equal sign here, we're gonna to wanna to do an open and close parentheses, and we can put JavaScript inside of here, and we're just gonna actually put the login component, sorry, login component here, but we haven't yet imported that. So let's go ahead and import all three of these components that we created earlier. So I'm actually not gonna put the braces. I'm gonna say import login component from, and then inside of the quotes here, we're gonna do dot slash login slash login. And we're going to do the same thing for sign up. And the same thing for the dashboard.
now that we have these imports, we'll actually be able to utilize the components here. So I'm going to actually copy this line and paste it twice and just change login to sign up on the second one. And same thing within the component here, sign up. And then we're going to change the third one to the dashboard. So now that I save this, you can see I'm at slash login, but we're still not showing that hello world from login here. That's because we need to go ahead and inside of the react dom dot render, we need to put the routing object that we just created. So now it's going to render the routing object that we just created rather than that div. So when I save it, you can see now it says hello world from login. And if I type in sign up, you can see it says hello world from sign up and then same with the dashboard. So now we have the three classes that we're going to be working with for the beginner portion of the tutorial set up, and we have the ability to route in between them. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.